at this point, the Pixel Watch 3 has been out for a few weeks now, and during that time, I've been putting it through its paces. Today, I think I have enough experience to share some of my most impactful tips to help you squeeze every bit of value from your Pixel Watch. We'll go over customization, battery tips, and cover a few features that should at least be on your radar, whether you have the newest Pixel Watch 3 or maybe an older model, so let's talk about it. And as always, if you find this content helpful, consider subscribing to the channel as we have a lot more of these kind of videos coming your way. Let's kick things off with a couple small but effective tweaks that every single Pixel Watch owner should know about. First up is notifications. By default and on the first initial setup, every single app has access to send notifications to your watch no matter the urgency. To me, this gets very old very quickly as I feel the watch only needs to send me the most important notifications and everything else can be viewed at a later time. Thankfully, you can easily fix this by heading to the watch app on your phone, go to notifications, notifications and select the app notifications panel at the top of your screen. From here, you can turn off notifications for apps on a case by case basis, perfect for fine tuning what is most relevant to you. The benefits are you don't get as many notifications, which in turn should improve battery life a bit. And overall, this should help make your watch feel a bit more practical. Next up is a friendly reminder that might sound like a no brainer, but trust me, it's very easy to overlook knowing how to manually update your pixel watch apps. And this is important important as keeping your apps up to date can fix potential syncing issues, fix general bugs, or add new features, so this is definitely something you should know about. Technically, apps should update automatically, but if you need to do it yourself, go to the Play Store on the watch itself, scroll all the way down to Manage Apps, and hit Update All. To me, it's a bit hidden, which is why I included it on this list, and at one time, I had seven apps waiting that needed to be updated that actually did hold new features, so I wanted this to be on everyone's radar so you don't end up like me sleeping on potential benefits for your pixel watch interestingly enough google has given us official stats on the expected battery life for the pixel watch 3 for a 24-hour period which is really helpful for a few reasons one it's nice to see some raw metrics in regards to usage and two it gives you a real genuine benchmark on how your own usage might stack up on paper google says you can achieve 24-hour battery life based on 240 notifications 280 time checks, 5 minutes of LTE phone calls, 45 minutes of LTE and GPS workouts with downloaded YouTube music playback, 50 minutes of Google Maps navigation while connected to a phone, 7 hours of sleep with bedtime mode on, and always on display mode activated for both the 41 and the 45mm variant, although we find the 45mm version lasts much longer than Google advertises. I know that was a lot, but all of this to say, I think there's a decent amount of activity in those stats, so if you use your watch even less, it's possible you'll get even more battery life out of it, which is just good to keep in mind, and it's good to know the expected limitations of your Pixel Watch. Admittedly, as someone that's been using the Pixel Watch for a few years, I'm typically the set it and forget it type of guy, so I was more than happy to fire it up and use the default tiles without much thought. But lately, I actually did give tile customization a shot and it does make a huge difference. So if you haven't customized your tiles, please take the time to do so. I went all in on fitness and well-being with tiles for cardio load and readiness, live heart rate tracking, sleep score, previous workout activity, and access to a timer for various workouts. All of these now being easily accessible has helped me be more motivated, informed, and engaged on my fitness goals to the point where it's really starting to become like a personalized companion. A little off topic, but if only we had that AI assisted workout coach, I feel it would really complete the Pixel Watch in terms of fitness. Either way, give tile customization a try. I think you'll really like it. This next tip is specifically for Pixel Watch 3 owners. Give that always on display option a serious try. In the past, it was certainly a major battery drain to say the least, but with the Pixel Watch 3, things have changed quite a bit. Thanks to an updated display, it's now capable of dimming all the way down to one nits brightness and one hertz refresh rate when in always on display mode. That plus the efficiency improvements coming from Wear OS 5, it almost 
almost seems like the impact for always on display is surprisingly minimal, at least in my opinion, during my usage over the past few weeks. Like I said, it's definitely worth a try. Nice to have that quick, easy access to your time. And hey, if it doesn't drain battery life that bad, no harm in having it. Another feature I've been really enjoying lately is watch unlock for a few reasons, but as a whole, it's awesome to seamlessly unlock your phone without having to enter in a pin code or use biometrics. It's a great backup for when biometrics don't work for whatever reason. And with the Pixel Watch 3, it's got ultra wideband support on pro model phones, which means it should be faster and more accurate than it was in the past. The watch does have to be somewhat close to the phone, which is expected and almost implied since the watch should should be on your wrist when interacting, plus you get some subtle haptic feedback on the watch when the unlock is successful as a nice touch. I do wish it would work vice versa where my paired phone can unlock the watch since manually entering the pin code is kind of annoying on the small screen, but maybe in a future update. Before we wrap things up, let's talk about personalization. The Pixel Watch 3 in particular comes with a few new watch faces that I hope get backported to previous devices with a ton of customization options. If you're into a clean, info dense look, the new active face seems fitting. It's got room for a ton of complications and has some interesting dual tone color combos. The other new face field is pretty great as well, especially on the 45 millimeter watch as it can handle up to eight complications. And if you like a simple ultra minimal face, the updated track option fits that angle. Personally, my favorite is the adventure face in the digital arcs variant as it has a ton of color options, a ton of space for complications. It's super versatile, easy to read, and simply looks incredible on either the 41 or 45 millimeter watch band. And to complete your Pixel Watch experience, we need to talk about watch bands real quick. Right now, options for the 45 millimeter might be a little limited compared to the massive backlog that the 41 millimeter has, but there are still some solid options for both sizes. If you're someone that has a relatively active lifestyle, Google's first party active sport band is a complete no brainer. Sure, it is a bit expensive, typically on sale around 50 US dollars, although it can be found cheaper on Amazon sometimes, so I'll throw a link in the description. Anyways, I love it simply because it's super durable, breathable, and is kind of the jack of all trades, feeling comfortable enough for workouts, sleep tracking, casual wear, and maybe sometimes you can get away with this formally. If you're someone that really prioritizes comfort, especially for sleep tracking, Spigen's Light Fit Band is another great option. Its stretchy nylon material is super cozy on the wrist, it's easy to adjust, and is so lightweight I almost forget that I'm wearing a watch from time to time. I've only tried it on the 40 one millimeter so far, but I'm seriously considering getting one for my 45 millimeter. And there you have it, my friends. These are just a few ways that you can take your Pixel Watch experience to the next level. I really wanted to include some easy, actionable tips that make the watch feel more personal for your needs. So hopefully this helped. And if you think so, like the video or leave a comment telling me which tip worked best for you. I do want to do more of these in the future. So if there's anything major you would have liked to see, let me know, but for now, I'm getting out of here. Before I do, huge shout out to our channel members on screen right now for supporting us as we work super hard to make the best Android content possible. And don't forget to grab the September wallpaper pack Mars in the community post. If you do want to gain access for yourselves, hit the join button down below to learn more. In the meantime, this has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.